Hello. Hi, everybody. I am Silvano Imboden, and he's uh, Daniele De Luca. And we're presenting a Made with Braids, uh, our talk about the creation of a, uh, our new character. Okay. We both work in Cineca. Cineca is the main Italian supercomputing facility hosting machine used by both research and industries. Okay. And in particular, we work in two small department uh, called the uh, Visit Lab, focused on computer graphic application. We have been doing uh, real-time uh, programs, uh, short movie, and uh, later many other uh, applications of computer graphics but uh, use it to communicate uh, scientific result and cultural heritage knowledge. Okay. Our first uh, opportunity to make a movie with character animation was a couple of years ago. Uh, the movie was called Apa di Etruscan, and the goal of this short movie was to tell the history of our city, which is Bologna, from the Etruscan age until the present. The movie is now a resident exhibition into the museum of the city. And uh, we received uh, uh, many awards for this work, so it, it was a very happy experience. Yeah, of course, everything was made with Blender. And uh, in 2013, we, the museum of the city of Bologna, in collaboration with the museum of Villa Giulia in Rome, begin to prepare a new exhibition centered on the Etruscan age. And we were asked to extend the app movie with a new chapter introducing the Etruscan in the Rome area. This time, the main character will be a female. Her name is Ati, which means mother in Etruscan. And her voice is Sabrina Ferilli, a famous Italian actress. These are some of the people involved in this project. And uh, Daniele De Luca, which is here, was uh, uh, involved in many parts of, of this production. In particular, he done uh, a lot of work in the modeling, all the lighting and compositing. And uh, one of the most challenging tasks uh, was uh, the animation of the braids of Ati, which is the topic of this talk. Okay. Uh, for this character, we 
begin to design it starting from some reference that we received from the museum. Reference material uh, consists of uh, wall paintings, uh, sculpture and other related uh, remains. As, as, you, as you can see, we have uh, many, many interesting uh, uh, materials to be used, in particular the, the silhouette of the face uh, of the Etruscan people uh, in, in their paintings uh, are very peculiar with those straight nose. And uh, we have also nice reference uh, for the color palette uh, and uh, many other information, com starting from the braids, which you can see in the sculpture in the center. And uh, the previous character we have made was modeled uh, from scratch uh, in Blender by, by Spark uh, and Enrico Valenza and then rigged by Bassan Cordali, animated by Gianpaolo Fragale. And uh, that, uh, that, uh, that character involved really a huge amount of work. Uh, for this new one, uh, I leave uh, Daniele speak. We need to find a short uh, way uh, to, to continue the work on APA, uh, to ATI. So we searched in the community and we found this, the Chichi Kubikli flex rig. Uh, I don't know if you know the flex rig, it's, it's a really yeah, flexible and just rigged. So you can uh, change every um, peculiarity, uh, the shape of the body, the face conformation, uh, the hairstyle, eyes, dress, um, every color. And uh, with this infinite variation, infinite kind of uh, I don't know, conformation, we developed this. This is um, a customized version of the CG Flex, uh, CG Cookie Flex Rig, because uh, all the characteristics that um, we, we take from the, the rig are in the body, but we also modeled the, the cloth, and we need a peculiar face. This is not obtainable because the eyes are stretched and uh, the rigs doesn't react well, so we adapted it. Also, we need the braids uh, because, uh, as you see from the references, the air from uh, the Etruscan people are uh, braids like Rasta people or uh, something like that. And uh, yeah, we want to style like this. Uh, to do this, we, we looked around. We find uh, the Rapunzel from Disney who has a, his own uh, yeah, complexity, a lot of people working with braids, and uh, they are animated and controlled by animator, so many animators for the braids. We are a small team, so we are looking for a cheap way to do this. So the inspiration came from the um, show you, uh, show your, sorry for misspelling, I don't know, um, a video on YouTube about Blender, how to animate the, with the soft bodies, for Blender, um, from Blender for the um, air of an anime or manga character. From this, I understand that we need bones. Bones are everywhere and uh, uh, in the, the rig of the character. And also we will use, we had used in the, in the braids. To do this, we abandoned the soft body logic because, uh, oh, I can see a short piece yeah, yeah, of yeah. the movie. Yeah, before entering in the details. <laughs> we can show the entire movie, you need to go to the yeah, city museum, but I can... Grandi città! Qui a Felsina popoli diversi venivano a contatto dall'Italia e dall'estero. Nel... Sorry, this is the old movie and this is the connection. This is, there is Ati in the museum, the new museum, that is watching the movie on his old TV. So the connection begins here. Un secolo poi sono arrivati i galli intesi come esseri umani che hanno dato un sacco di problemi a noi e anche a una nuova città che è cresciuta a sud, lontano, oltre le montagne. Io non ci sono mai stato, ma so che è grande, 
e che si chiama Roma. Roma? Ma che sei a di? Prima di Roma ci siamo noi, gli etruschi del sud. Sto fanfarone, chi ha tramandato ai posteri le tombe dipinte, i vasi più belli, la memoria dei templi? Tarquinia, Cerveteri, Vulci, ma anche Perugia, Orvieto, che stanno al nord. Persino Roma, le origini, era una città etrusca. Ok, this is just a small piece of the movie. Um, to do all this stuff uh, for the braids animation, we have uh, switched from the soft body technique to um, cloth driven uh, technique. It's a secondary animation, so uh, connected to the main character rig. So when Ati shakes her body or uh, her head, the rig follows and the cloth do magically all the stuff with the simulation of a uh, blender, of course. There are uh, so the cloth by, made, made by yeah, extruded mesh and um, I've named it because I can't remember the first, the second, the third. The, the, there are Fulvia, Luigina, Morgana, Yvonne and uh, I have a few problems with some of those <laughs> and uh, like Luigina. Um, yeah, there are some lovely issues. Uh, I can show you that the the magic, uh, magic, uh, yeah, cloth simulation sometimes fail. So, with no gravity, of course, the braids look like this. Sto no, stop. Chi ha tramandato ai posteri le tombe dipinte, i vasi più belli, oh, yeah. la memoria dei templi? She's like Sto flying, I don't know. Chi ha tramandato ai and with more gravity, but some problem. Sto fanfarone. Chi ha tramandato ai posteri le tombe dipinte? I vasi più belli, la memoria dei tempi. I like that one in particular. So we need the solution. There are also yeah, other lovely issues that uh, follow me in, in my nightmare, like, uh, I don't know, this one in particular. Um, my favorite, this one. <laughs> so we need a, a solution to this, all this. You, we can present a product like this, maybe a, an horror movie, but not this. <laughs> so don't panic. Uh, as I learned from yeah, Douglas Adams, there are always solutions. Wait. Perhaps the entire planet is temporarily closed. If you would like to leave your name at the planet where you can be contacted, kindly do so at the Toho. How can a planet be closed? Sark and A, cousin. Okay, computer, keep going, take us down. I'd be happy to. It is most gratifying that your enthusiasm for our planet continues unabated. As a token of our appreciation, we hope you will enjoy the two thermonuclear missiles we've just sent in to converge with your craft. To ensure ongoing quality of service, your death may be monitored for training purposes. Thank you. Guys, I'm delighted to tell you that there are two thermonuclear missiles heading right for us. If you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and take a base of action. By the way, this is a, met a metaphor for our problems. There seems to be something jamming my guidance system. Impact minus 45 seconds. So, the manual control. Okay. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the, the, the idea is the manual control, but it's not easy to do. Um, we have a cloth that uh, controls a bone system that uh, moves all the braids, because, uh, yeah, the bones uh, moves heavy mesh easily. This is the bones the first uh, series of uh, 
uh, sorry, the cloth, the first series of bones that uh, do the dark animation, a second series of bones that copy the dark animation made by the first bones, and a last series of bones, um, yeah, more uh, here represented by pins, and this is our manual control. With this, we can um, we have modded uh, Chiji Cookie panels, uh, extended them with Python, so we can switch from automatic braids to manual. During the animation, yeah, it's like I key and F key, uh, inverse cinematic and there. Um, to do this, we made a driver and hidden the main rig and created a manual rig. This manual rig follows every time our braids. In this way, uh, you have always the position of the braid when uh, it's uh, yeah, set it up. But when you want, select some of those, Carlona, Dolores, yeah, where is Lugina? Okay, and uh, some of this, you can animate the sliders during the animation when uh, I think it's Rada that follow that the flies and that goes up. You can bring it down and then animate the position manually. Uh, if you want to see a short demo, okay. Oh, there is also a little thing. Uh, number two, the copy cloth position, because yeah, the the, um, the rig is always in pose mode. The the pins are always stretched on the horizontal line, then settle up, uh, settle down. But uh, when you want to switch to manual, the rigs, the the braids that you are switching, returns to the pose to the rest pose. So you have to place them to the position and then emulate the cloth position that is at the previous frame. With the copy cloth position, we can mimic and transfer this. But uh, this, there is a bug in uh, an option, a visual transformation, apply visual transformation to bones. When I'm working on this, the 2.7 version of Blender um, came up and they are solving this, so we we finally uh, have this working feature because of uh, the, the bug fixing of this bug. Mm. Five minutes, okay. Okay, so this is our main character and the two rig system. You can see that the system doesn't um, follow immediately the, um, the, the, the cloth because the dependency system of Blender um, doesn't update well. So, if I remember, with Sintel they have a similar problem and uh, Tone, maybe, add uh, relation extras fix, which is extra object update and extra dot update. Uh, we have to apply this to have a um, yeah, real-time um, workflow. Maybe I have to Yeah, yeah. Yeah, delete the cache. Okay. This is the main behavior. But if you wanna, whoop, no. <laughs> Go into edit. No, pause, sorry. Of course. Uh, I have a trackball, please don't back off. <laughs> okay, we can do things like, like this. And the braids collide to the cloth. So moving 
harm make the braid yeah, I don't know if you can see that a little okay all the braids collide but when we are on our pose and stop please and we want to animate a single braid that I don't know is going uh, somewhere we can just pick the rig I need to start my modified Python script which came from the cookie flexible ideas and we have this Ernest okay we can swap and Ernesta is in a rest pose but now I can animate it and give it uh, I don't know which shape I want. Uh, we use three, point, three control points. We can add as many as we want. And um, the cool feature is that we haven't bind the cloth and the, and the braid. But with copy, cloth position, we added a keyframe. So I don't know if we want to animate Evarista. Now it's animated by manual control. And now is uh, yeah, also on position. So it starts from here. When my character is moving, uh, the you know, the braids are in a certain position, and now it's fixed uh, here. So I can I don't know uh, remove the braid from her um, from her face. Uh, I think like that happens continuously, and so. Hmm? Yeah, if you have any question or something, thank you all for listening. said that you were using gravity what did you use the gravity with like with the boltain physics the or the gravity yeah in the, like in the beginning you showed an example with gravity that it was going a bit upward and downward no, for the gravity of the uh, of the cloth no of the hair or it was with clothes like the example before uh, you said that uh, with uh, gravity that you use gravity but the I don't no? When it was or I misunderstood. Yeah. You said that it didn't have no. Okay, the fully one. Like, uh, no, there is gravity, but the collision uh, mix fun stuff. But it was gravity on clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gravity okay. is on. Okay. And it is always on. Because In a certain shot, we have to um, augment the gravity to minus 200 meters per second because uh, at is flying, so the, the braids continue uh, stand uh, like straight. And in other shorts, we have to animate the gravity because she is jumping or something. Uh, I don't know, I can show. Did you try also the Boltine physics, maybe? The? Boltine physics, like the physics engine. Because I tried, the, there is the constraint, and I tried to bl play and with the real-time physics. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We try also the soft body, or um, we no, have I the close the binded uh, physics engine that is from the game engine. But oh, now okay, it's, yes, uh, also but it's also bullet. So um, is um, for the real time. Uh, we have these characters is not made for real time, so we can't switch this easily. Okay. Okay. Mm. This answer your question? Kind. <laughs> well, we can talk to you later. Thanks for your talk. Really cool. Um, I was wondering. Um, uh, I saw that the braids uh, were not a. Um, a fixed length, like if you changed it, then the braid length also changed. Was that deliberate or Sorry? was that deliberate? Uh, an effect that you wanted to 
Yeah. Achieve? Okay. Mm, you have more flexibility. Yeah, you have more flexibility. In certain shots, we are thinking about uh, yeah, animating uh, the, the um, braids, like, uh, I don't know, there are like snakes, arms, snakes or snakes arms. Or but uh, we didn't do that after all. But, uh, we have the, that opportunity too. Okay, thank you. Cool. Mm -hmm. We have fixed the scale, because if I scale a pin, uh, the braids are still straight and uh, thin. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.